2009, I was with a date in Vinicia, and she told me, uh, maybe we can go to the forest. I thought, why we need to go to the forest to kiss? Maybe we can do this here. <laughs> okay, we went to the forest, and I found out some bankers. And it looked like German bankers because we have a lot here in France. There is nothing special about finding some bankers nowadays, but there were one like swimming pool. At first, I thought oh, maybe this is mm, tank water. They are stocking some water here, but I, I found all this very strange because it was a very open space and uh, the height was not so, not so high, so I thought this looks like more swimming pool. But do you really believe that a German during the Second War has the time to, to build some swimming pool? Well, it was quite weird. And I, I, I thought, okay, I probably found out something special. And in fact, I stumbled on the Hitler headquarter for the Eastern uh, conflict. The, that, that was one of the main with the one uh, of Poland. This is named the Wolf Repair because it was uh, the nickname of this Nazi leader, the Wolf, and it was one of his uh, secret repair. I will tell you everything you need to know right now about this. You would like to believe that I stumbled on a bunker where Hitler had been and I probably, let's say, spent a night and that was all. In fact, this region around Venezia is the wool projection of the top commander of the Third Reich, the top Nazi leader was there and all the organization of the Reich was duplicated in this region. And they have chosen this, specifically this region, for many reasons. Let me explain. On the map, this is the menu of the video today. So first we had a region like Venezia and all around with many things, a like Goering complex, Hitler complex, and the big headquarters for the land forces, and a big airport. If you go on the north, Bedovich, here uh, it was a um, community of Jew, very big community in the world. And if you know Vasily Grossman, uh, this man had been a famous uh, writer and uh, correspondent of war, he is con he's considered as a one of the first war correspondents and he was accredited for the Russian army and his mother was trapped there and was exterminated by, by the German. Just above you have Jitomir and Jitomir you had the Himmler complex. So if you were a Jew and you were uh, living in such region, you can guess that that was a bad day for you. So here you have in below the city of Venezia and the right point is the well of Hitler complex, very big. This is um, this rectangle in green, black green. And this rectangle was all about the lair complex of, so I will show you making a zoom. Okay, you can see this rectangle with forest, and that was basically uh, this lair of the wolf. Hitler complex named a werewolf. Um, there was one swimming pool, two cinema, three Bormann house. It was head camp of Hitler, very important uh, man four typist house, five Hitler house with his own private banker, six casino, seven tea house, eight adjutant house, nine general's house, ten hotel, eleven house press, 
12 second hotel, 13 communication post, 14 sauna, 15 bunker for top officer, 16 adjutant post, 17 wealth marks headquarter, 18 command post, 19 security service, 20 the mess. Most of the houses had a Finnish um, type of style. The perimeter was fenced with a 2.5 uh, meters high net with two rows of barbed wire. The complex included 80 ground facilities and a large number of pillbox, machine gun, and artillery position. Those artillery position included some anti-aircraft guns and fighters that were located in the biggest airport north of the werewolf complex, but not so far. It's only probably eight or 10 kilometers. The werewolf Nazi leader complex had also a smaller craft, probably for reconnaissance. So it could be probably plain like uh, Pfizer Storch 156. Hitler was very uh, paranoid and that was not without any reason due to the multiple attempt murder on his person. A uh, garden was, a vegetable garden was, was existing into the complex and this large vegetable garden uh, was checked every day that the, the food was tasted by, by someone. It was also controlled uh, chemically the water was also controlled chemically and even the hair and the, all the filter system uh, providing hair into the bunker. About the underground of um, the lair, it is probably la that such underground is not existing. Maybe um, under the two bunkers of the complex some floors, maybe one or two floors were existing, but no such as very big complex with very big uh, gallery inside, like uh, in the Smolensk uh, complex where had been built. At the end of the war for the German, uh, they exploded um, and burned, they exploded the two bankers and uh, they burned the house. The NKVD um, came, we don't know exactly what happened, but nowadays uh, it's not possible to go underground. It is a classified site. We know also that thousands, minimum thousands of people have been murdered around uh, this camp because we know that for such classified site for German uh, top leaders, all the workers uh, were exterminated. Nowadays there is uh, museum had been opened uh, in 2011 um, and uh, you can go there but there are no not many things to see in the Hitler complex where of today it needed um, 180,000 days to be built and the complex was uh, 162,000 square meters and it seems to be that was the largest in Europe uh, for, uh, for Hitler. It is known from a witness who had been in the headquarter in Poland, in Prussia, that a plane was regularly flying above the complex to detect any um, mistake in the camouflage so Germans, uh, and it was also true for the Göring complex, were very uh, aware to um, set up any detail for the camouflage and to let this uh, secret as possible.
it is well known that, uh, for example, uh, 10,000 Jews had been uh, murdered, at least in Venezia. What is uh, more um, unknown is that in Venezia, they found out some pits. They analyzed that uh, that was the mass murder for coming from the NKVD during uh, the Stalin and Push before the Second War in uh, 1937 and 38. And uh, this mass murder from the NKVD in Venetia uh, was about 8,000 corpses, um, basically the same dimension of mass murders and uh, cutting uh, officer because 22,000 uh, officer from cutting. In Venetia was also present a camp of prisoners of war uh, gathering the top senior officer of the Soviet Union Army. And there you had uh, General Vaslov, who had been captured with his second army shock in the front of uh, Leningrad and finally changed of camp and uh, worked for the German and had in common two divisions. He finally had been captured and later killed in Moscow in the Lubyanka. So we need to make a little geography and um, Venezia was also important because uh, from the west to the east was built a big highway um, and this highway was named in German and sorry I don't don't speak any German Dutch Gangstrasse uh, 4. It was coming basically from Lvov to Dnipropetrovsk. So let me explain. Lvov is here, Ternopil, Kmelinsky, Venezia, Uman, Kirovograd, and after Dnipro. So when, what you can guess is after Dnipro, Rostov sur le Don, who had been conquered by, by German. And here you have Volgograd, and this city uh, simply uh, it was named Stalingrad, where von Polus and his sixth army was captured and des destroyed. So, building this uh, highway from uh, Ternopil Lvov to the east Dnipro was allowing the troop and um, uh, many military material to um, pass by. This highway every 15 kilometers had a little camp with labor force workers to, to build this highway. This uh, highway was very important because, in fact, uh, Germans were aiming Baku uh, to size the petrol. They never reached this destination. We can say that Stalingrad, the defeat of Stalingrad, and the fact that they didn't size uh, the Baku region was, um, in fact, a large part of the defeat of the, of the Third Reich. Uh, Goring complex was situated beside aerodrome of Kalinivka. This is a big uh, airport, even today. Um, and this camp of Goring was not is not really well known, and it, it is situated in the forest, not so far from this lake. And you can go here to swim during summer. It's very nice. The uh, water is very clear. Don't worry. The Goring complex of the Ludwaf, because Goring was the number two at this time of the regime. And um, it was a big area of 100,000 square meters uh, dissimulated in the forest. And if um, it had not enough forest, they were capable to plant uh, some trees to, yes, to make some camouflage. So Stanbert was the name of this complex. It was situated close to the Kalinovka uh, airport, big airport. It had his own uh, trains 
people that can go into the complex surrounded by five uh, kilometers of uh, wire uh, net fencing and it, it was including 12 barracks and the concrete bank here who had been destroyed uh, since um, the construction of the complex uh, demanded uh, 100,000 uh, men's day of work which was uh, huge basically it was 60% uh, of uh, the time spent to, to build the Hitler uh, co complex This airport was north of uh, the camp of Hitler. It was a big airport with two squadrons of fighter to cover and protect um, all the camp because I have to tell you more. In this airport took place a big uh, event, uh, one of the numerous attempts of murder on the Nazi leader and unfortunately um, this failed. What happened? Uh, the Nazi leader was in the well of complex and he had to move to Smolensk to visit the headquarters center, uh, the army center in Smolensk. And uh, normally he had four crews, uh, 200 uh, private quadrimotors to go. <clears throat> and in the conspiracy, someone had given a, a gift to, to, um, to an, um, people who were. Uh, in, in uh, boarding uh, the plane and two bottles but in fact in the bottle there was a bomb and uh, this bomb had been put in the bay and the detonator worked but the bomb didn't finally work so it didn't explode and the plane was safe and nobody knew about this so the conspirator uh, quickly went to get back his gift and nothing bad happened to him. Egwald was the name of the complex uh, dedicated to Heinrich uh, Himmler. In Zetomir, the Himmler quarter started to be built uh, from uh, 1941 and finally they delivered the uh, summer 1942. From there, in the region, 100,000 prisoners of war and 180,000 uh, Jews were killed between the summer of 1941 and the autumn of 1943. You need to understand that due to the presence of the Nazi headquarter, SS headquarter, and due to the presence of uh, a top official in the region, uh, the ethnic operation was very very severe and very brutal. The Imler quarter was composed of several uh, barracks, at least one bunkers, a special house for Himmler and a military cemetery. It was probably huger than what I'm telling you because 1000 guard and more than one SS officer were working in this uh, complex. This is the only place where we can still see a banker, the only one we can see alive. And that gives a good idea of, about the dimension of the other banker in Göring and Hitler uh, complex. Around Venetia, the Nazi leader Himmler had conducted a um, policy of uh, gathering 10,000 um, German from um, from Germany to have some some forms and to evict 20,000 people local people from from the from the farm what is funny and it shows the paranoia of the regime cons considering some uh, uh, racial perspective and uh, I would even say racism perspective is that in exactly Zitomir they opened the border and this border was opened two days per week and they bring some women uh, from uh, Nordic countries and because they, don't, they didn't want that uh, their um, Aryan soldiers and officers could mix their blood uh, with some local Ukrainian women. This is in this headquarters that Himmler performed an oral order to destroy all the Ukrainian Jews. And the uh, Jews uh, had been already murdered 
in the, the Balkan countries, in Poland and also in Belarus. But in Ukraine, they aimed for a final solution to have more um, progress in the mass murder. A lot of people in the countries that I have uh, told you were murdered on spot, a few hundred meters, maximum few kilometers uh, from the city uh, with the help of um, scientists and medical um, people they tried to improve how to mass murder people in, in Ukraine using for example some truck putting some gas from, from the motor into a closed space to, to, to kill people. I would appreciate if you can help the channel to be known by subscribing and I'm giving you some information about a game to play and prepare Barbarossa campaign.